Chester Missy uh, joined us in studio last year to talk about the rather hilarious mass hysteria comedy show. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Who had ever thought that government would be so funny? Well, the Nando's hyster a mass hysteria comedy show is back and uh, with the spectacle open Wednesday evening and treated fans to a hilarious night of self-appointed comedy cabinets. Only the best stand-up comedians are featured on the lineup. And this morning, of course, is Conrad and just I'm missing guys do I say gentlemen yes. or gentlemen yes thank you thank you that more <laughs> well, like your EFF out you got there <laughs> I see Jiki you're gonna get me into trouble yes and a DA necklace <laughs> you really are. your cloudy is not gonna be happy with you <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about mass hysteria. Yeah. Okay. Cloudy. What's going to happen there? <laughs> mass hysteria <laughs> is, uh, is it's a great thing. It's a uh, yeah, lineup that's been happening for about three years now or so. But WAC management, John Flismus and the team have put it together. A very strong lineup. And the whole joke is it's a comedy cabinet mm -hmm. and we all get to talk about you know our portfolio. But it's really just a comedy show. It, it's m sort of meant to have a bit of a political angle. Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't, it sort of does. It's a great lineup though. Tumi Norak is there and uh, Mark Lottering, Nick Rundin, the a bit of it, yeah, that. <laughs> I also struggle with that, don't worry. <laughs> that is a huge necklace. It's not so huge. Yes, dude, it's like an Encandler necklace. <laughs> it's Are like it's a fireball necklace. Okay. okay, let's get serious. We're trying to sell the show here. <laughs> So we're trying what? to tell the show here. Yeah, talk about the serious, show, yeah. Serious stuff. Now. Okay, mm. you are the minister of what? <laughs> uh, of puppets. Of puppets. Yeah. So I sit in here at the SABC. <laughs> <laughs> what, haven't you seen Takalani says to me? Why are they, they? What? So he's the minister of puppets, so he gets to deal with all the puppet railer things. He's a, you know, he supports his fellow puppets in Kosinati and Sleko, Riyati, Yech, Musi, Maimani, etc. Okay, why do you think this concept works so well? I mean, I remember when it started a couple, <coughs> a couple of years ago, it was a small thing, but now it's become this institution that is mass hysteria. It's just a cheap, easy way to sell tickets. <laughs> 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 Nothing great. No, it's, yes, it is. It's a great concept. It works well because the lineup is great. Mm. It's 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 you know got great different voices on it, and we've all got you know new strong material with what's been happening you know in Parliament. And Jacob Zuma needs extensions, new ones. <laughs> For what? Why? Why is the South African landscape such a beautiful place for comedians? I can imagine. Have you seen your necklace? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Oh, okay. My neck, should we take it off? <laughs> it looks like it's from another name. <laughs> <laughs> or Edgar's. <laughs> what? It looks it looks great. I like it. Yo. I think we're going to cut this interview to leave you guys, chuck you guys is out. It, is Julius Caesar to nationalize it? <laughs> The, 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 the political landscape is great for us to talk about because um, we have so much complexity in this country yeah. with our difficult history, apartheid, so there's some real power to speak back to and people enjoy comedy of substance. A lot of the comedy overseas uh, doesn't need to be as, well, it should be as provocative, but it's less obvious why. Versus here, it's very obvious, you know, 20% of our people... Uh, still live below the the food poverty. They mm -hmm. got no food, so it's insane. But uh, that still, we need extensions. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Lebo was never ready. That is just the worst thing in life to do to interview Chester Missing. He's out of order. That one is simply uncontrollable. And I think he bleached his skin. Did you see? He's become a yellow bone. So I think we all need some time to digest this new Chester uh, Missing. And uh, what better way to do that than with some good music? Our guest, uh, next musical guest this morning is Valentino.